Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So, this is a what if. I went to Hobby Lobby and they had an $8.99 jar of the Deco Art Satin like Melly D uses for her cloud effect that was normally $8.99 for $2.24. So I grabbed it and of course the only color that they had because they were sold out of white that I really liked was this it's called dark denim. It looks like a navy blue. So what I have done is I have mixed it up with Liquitex pouring medium and water only. And this is white that was Artist Loft white with Floetrol mixed in with it with the Deco Art Satin white and a little bit, I don't think I added any, I didn't add any water to this, but I did put Liquitex pouring medium in it. So both of them have Liquitex pouring medium. This one I had to water down after I got it in the in the bottle, the little jar and added my Liquitex. I added probably one third Liquitex to two thirds paint. And then I had to water it down some. So I'm going to do a ring pour so I'm gonna start out with some white. Not too awfully much, a little bit. Put some blue in there. That stuff's sticky. A little more white. I need five ounces, which is, this is a five ounce cup. Um, for this pour, for this 11 by 14 canvas. I'm just keep layering until I run out of white. About to run out. I didn't have as much of it as I did the blue. it. So we will see what happens. I don't have quite five ounces and I'm not putting down a base coat. And this is a little thicker than when I poured it in than I thought it was when I was mixing it up. So we'll just see how far it goes. I didn't put too much white in in the very beginning. I think my rain pour is traveling a little bit, but that's okay. I'm so bad at catching this at the end to keep it from looking horrible and blopping. Can never seem to get it at the right time. If I don't get it to all the edges, I can always, I think I see a little lumpy thing in there. Um, take some 
navy blue, mix it up, or that blue and mix it up, and then it must have been a piece of white. Now I've messed it up. And go blue around the edges. I need to. Trying to keep it where you all can see it. satin paint seems to be, the blue seems to be working a little differently than just our normal colors with the Floetrol in it. Could be because I use the Li Liquitex pouring medium and I'm really not that used to using that yet. But I did get a big bottle of it, so I'm going to have to experiment with it some. I don't want to drop that off that edge. love the lines in this. I really do not want to drop all that off because that's pretty. Let's see what I can do about getting it up here in this corner though. I didn't lose all of that. Now this is so much lighter that if I try to go around it with dark, it's not gonna look right. Hmm, problem. Should have had more paint. I'm sometimes so anxious to get started <laughs> that I don't prepare well enough. That is so pretty. See what happens. Dip it back this way just a little bit, and then back down.
I'm gonna get some of the weight of that back over. Into the middle a little bit. My daughter just asked me the other day how it would look if I did a navy blue with a parchment. But her favorite call, her favorite technique is the blow dryer. And I thought we needed one more color in there besides just navy blue and parchment. Going to bring that back down a little bit. Center it a little bit more if I can. Bring it to this end. Cover that. This is beautiful. <laughs> I am so shocked. It's making me some real squiggly lines right in here, but we'll just have to see how that stretches back out. I want this side, this end covered a little bit. Drop it off there just a little. Won't take much. Now I'm gonna shift it back down. I was so hoping to keep that center. Can you believe that center traveled like it did all the way across that canvas? See, I still have paint, but the biggest majority of it is now over in here. So. Let's see if I can straighten those lines out just a little bit. See what happens now. Move that just a little bit right there to the very edge. Bring it back. This is one I don't care how the sides look, <laughs> which is unusual for me because I usually like my sides to look pretty. But with this one, I really don't care. I just want that paint to move. Stretch back down in there. Hope you're seeing it. Move it to the middle a little bit more. And see what happens. See if I'd have made this thinner, it would have moved better. My mistake. I love playing though, and finding out what works and what doesn't. Because 
I think I've always learned more from my mistakes than I have from my easy successes. Success comes easy to you. You don't have to struggle. And if you don't struggle, you don't learn anything. Along the way. Okay, a little bit more. See where it is. It's right down there where I need it to be. But I lost it. I lost my center right there. Darn it. So close. Just that little corner. It looks like stormy seas instead of a sky now. I don't hate it. See if there's anything left to stretch back down. A little bit. Little bit left. I do think it looks like stormy ski, sti, stormy sk seas. <laughs> ah, I can't even talk. Look how that little place blobbed. Dag nabbit. I wasn't even watching that. Was something in there causing me a problem? Now I look like I got a whirlpool. Definitely a blob of paint or something in there. I don't like this little white dot. Pull it out of there. Well. It was a learning experience. I'm gonna have to try some more Liquitex. Look how defined those lines are. That is just unreal. Hope you all can see it. I can't see what you're seeing in the camera. So, I will take the camera down, give you a close up. Now, like that white, which was right there by the center. Wow, that's a wow painting anyway. It's still a wow painting. I love it. I'm in love. So, I may have to deal with that one little white dot right there showing over the edge because I don't want to mess it up. This just looks entirely bizarre. I don't know what to do about that. Let's make it look like a whirlpool. I guess. It already looked weird anyway. All right, I'm gonna take the camera down, give you a close up. makes me want to do a second one with it really thin and I might do that I'm gonna try to hold this so you all don't get the reflection I am blown away by these lines in this this definition can you imagine how this Liquitex would work with Arteza paints 
as vivid as they are. This is amazing. And I don't mind that I have a little eyeball there now so much. Well, I do mind, but there's not much I can do about it. But I made it look swirly. Let me swirl it again a little bit. It just looked really weird. Because it pulled around that paint blob. But I am so thrilled with this. Wow. I think this is a wow painting. Let me know what you think. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching.